Hey Cal fans, this is Cal TV. I'm Grace Lear. And I'm Uday Meta. And just like Miley Cyrus's Wrecking Ball, we're going back and forth. I came in like a wrecking ball. I never hit so hard in love. The Cal Bears were defeated by the Wildcats this weekend, 28 to 33. Although it was the Golden Bears' first lead they've had since the second week of the season and first opening drive touchdown they've had in a while. Um, Jared Goff, I feel, had a pretty good game. What did you think? Yeah, it goes to show how much that opening drive touchdown can do for a team's confidence. I think that's what ultimately led them to having such a close game, as you mentioned, the score of a margin of only five points. Um, he did have some pockets where he wasn't consistent. He followed up his brilliant first quarter with a stretch where he missed eight straight passes in a row. And he had a couple picks later on where it gave Arizona a very short field position to score, which is what ultimately led to their downfall. Um, but he did have a lot of help on the offense as well. And speaking of the Cal offense, Kenny Lawler, wide receiver, redshirt freshman, had three touchdowns this game. His second touchdown being a one-handed catch. It was pretty unbelievable if you saw it. Um, the last person to have this many touchdowns in a game was Deshaun Jackson in 2006. So I'd say Kenny Lawler had a pretty good performance. Yeah, him and Daniel Lasko were definitely the anchor points of the offense, along with Jerry Goff. Now, on the flip side of the ball, the plan was to stop Kadeem Carey, the rusher for Arizona. And you can't really stop him. You can only mitigate the effect that he has on Arizona's offense. He did record 152 yards, which is on par for him. But I guess for the first time all season, really, we can say good job to the Cal defense. And following the wake of the Miami Dolphins' Richie Incognito incident, the Cal Bears also had an incident this past Friday in their locker room up at the Simpson Center. Um, a freshman and another player got into a confrontation where one of them actually ended up in the hospital, so I really hope everything's okay. you got to wonder what that's all about. Hearing about these kinds of incidents, it's never good when you hear news about a football team off the football field, and you have to question whether this affects their chemistry on the field as well, or lack of chemistry, should I say. All you can really say at this point is that you hope that it doesn't follow them onto the field in their next game. It is senior day this Saturday. Uh, the Golden Bears play USC at home, our last home match. Um, I just hope it's a good game. I hope that they can come out, have fun, and leave all the drama, all the incidents in the locker room. Just come out and have a good game. Make it a fun game to watch. Definitely. At this point in the season with a 1-8 and eight record, it's not like you're playing for a bowl game or any postseason aspirations, but it's always good to end the season at home on a high note, uh, close out with a win, hopefully Goff, Treggs, all those big guys play well. Um, on the other side of the coin, USC has had a much maligned season, falling from the number one spot, having the firing of Lane Kiffin in the LAX parking lot. So it'll be a definitely interesting game to watch, and all you can do is really hope that we come out with a win. Thank you for joining us for another episode of Back and Forth. I'm Grace Lear. And I'm Uday Mehta. Make sure to tune in next week to get your download for What's, What's Up, up in, in Cal Sports. Sports. We clawed, we chained our hearts in vain, we jumped. Never asking why We kissed, I fell under your spell of love